In this module, we look at aldol condensation. We will first look at the definition, then the mechanism, and then some conditions for the reaction phase. Two molecules of an aldehyde or a ketone containing at least one alpha hydrogen atom, when treated with dilute base at room temperature, combine to form a beta hydroxy aldehyde or beta hydroxy ketones. This reaction is called aldol condensation. Here, we can see an example of aldol condensation using aldehyde. The aldehyde used here is acetaldehyde. The base used here can either be sodium hydroxide or barium hydroxide or potassium carbonate. The result of aldol reaction is always a beta hydroxy aldehyde as shown. The following is an example of aldol condensation using two ketones. The base used for this reaction is also sodium hydroxide or barium hydroxide or potassium carbonate. The result of this reaction is again a beta hydroxy ketone. Note that the presence of alpha hydrogen is very characteristic for such reaction. In every case, it is the alpha carbon and alpha hydrogen atoms of one molecule that adds to the carbonyl carbon and oxygen atom respectively of the second molecule. The illustration here shows how the alpha carbon of one aldehyde molecule adds to the carbonyl carbon of another aldehyde molecule resulting into the beta hydroxy aldehyde. The following is another illustration of aldol reaction with ketones. It shows how alpha carbon of one ketone molecule adds to the carbonyl carbon of another ketone molecule resulting into the beta hydroxy ketone. Let's closely look at this reaction mechanism by studying the reaction between acetaldehyde and hydroxide ion. In step 1 of the reaction, the hydroxide ion abstracts a alpha hydrogen from the acetaldehyde molecule, which results into a carbon ion and water molecule. Note that such a thing is feasible primarily because of the acidity of alpha hydrogens. Alternatively, there could be steps in the reaction phase in which the hydroxide ion attacks at the nucleophilic carbon center forming an intermediate. The unstability of the intermediate is primarily due to the two electronegative groups attached. It therefore degenerates back into the acetaldehyde and hydroxide ion.
In step 2 of the reaction, the acetaldehyde carbon ion attacks the nucleophilic carbon of another acetaldehyde molecule forming an alkoxide ion. The alkoxide ion formed is also an intermediate in the reaction phase. In step 3, the alkoxide ion takes hydrogen from a neighboring water molecule to form an aldol and a hydroxide ion. The aldol formed in this case is 3-hydroxylbutanyl. It is an aldol product because you form a product consisting of an aldehyde functional group and an alcohol functional group. Note that the reaction till now is known as aldol reaction and not aldol condensation. Remember that presence of alpha hydrogen in aldehyde or ketone is the essential condition for aldol condensation since only such carbonyl compounds which is the actual nucleophile which attacks the carbonyl carbon to form the product. Hence, aldehydes or ketones not having alpha hydrogen atom do not undergo aldol condensation. However, in presence of concentrated base aldehyde or ketones not having alpha hydrogen atoms undergo another type of reaction known as Canizaro reaction. Canizaro reaction we will study in another module. Generally the aldol reaction does not stop only at the aldol product. The beta hydroxy aldehydes and beta hydroxy ketones obtained from aldol condensation are very easily dehydrated on heating to form, are very easily dehydrated on heating. Dehydration takes place readily because the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds are a conjugated system which adds to the stability of the molecule. The following illustrates the aldol condensation of a beta hydroxy ketone. As in the case of aldehydes, you can see the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound is a conjugated system and thus is readily formed on warming. Dehydration occurs readily because of the acidity of the remaining alpha hydrogen. Even though the leaving group is an hydroxide ion, generally a bad leaving group, and because the product has conjugated system of double bonds which gives additional stability. The following is an example for dehydration in the case of beta hydroxy ketones. Similar to the case of beta hydroxy aldehydes, the ease of dehydration is primarily attributed to the acidic alpha hydrogen and the conjugated bond stability. Although the leaving group, which is hydroxide ion, is a bad leaving group. In some cases, especially when the double bond produced is conjugated with an aromatic ring, dehydration of the aldol product occurs so readily that we cannot isolate the product in the aldol form. You can clearly see the extended conjugated system which makes the product highly stable.